Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have created login form. In this video, we will implement an authentication service within login and logout method. Here, form control name holds the text input and password and then when form submit these two values go to login method as a value in authentication service here uh, authentication service is injected in construct method so go to service and open authentication service here authentication service use http post method to send user and password to backend api this url and here check if user username password and token are the same then this retrieve user information and store it in local storage and when click on logout the logout methods clear the current user information from local storage so go to browser and here enter username and password login logged in and it retrieve token username user first name is the last name user ID and go to application and see local storage current user instance store it all information so now we implement logout so go to app component and, and here use a logout button with this and click on logout so we need to implement logout in app component here this and here we need to inject authentication service to use logout service path service So inject authentication service constructor auth service
okay and access hard service login by this way log out and save app component and click on log out current user instance clear from local storage and user logged out A login component this is authentication service HTTP options for using application or JSON type data and this is the backend API root URL and this is the URL for API login and here post method who is send username and password to this URL so this dot service dot logout we access authentication service method logout this is the local storage remove item current user when click on logout this method clear the current user from local storage we need to store the current logged in users information in local storage so that user can still logged in after this refresh now this user is logged in so click on reload and see current user is still is it so user is logged in now click on log out and see current user information are clear from local storage and now enter username and password and see current user information 